Well, hey, Fire Masters, this video is a shout out to Margaret Metcalf. Hey, Margaret, from Australia. We, you saw the swing frame video we did um, the other week, and you asked how to actually install, you wanted a video on how to actually install a swing frame onto an older outdoor fire that doesn't have one of our threaded inserts. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Um, so the type of fire you're dealing with, um, cameraman will come in, is a fire like this, where um, you don't have any threaded inserts. All you can see here is rough places where there looks like there's been some sort of precast holes, but they might be covered over by concrete, by a little bit of concrete. As opposed to a fire like this that has these steel, or the stainless steel threaded inserts. Um, if you have those, you have the newer fire, and I'm not talking about this. I actually addressed that in the last video. So today I'm actually working with a seconds fire that's been sitting around for yonks. It's got a bit of damage and it's just been sitting in a yard so it's green and it's, it's looking a bit average. So uh, forgive me for that. Um, but what you're gonna get uh, if you've ordered a swing frame online is you'll have your swing frame bracket and um, you may have been supplied um, the new, this little short stainless bolts that go in. They won't work in this scenario. Um, for the older fires, you are gonna need which it's an eight mil sleeve anchor and you should have got those from Flair or you can buy these from a hardware store. It's an eight millimeter sleeve anchor. You're also gonna need an eight millimeter um, masonry drill and you can go and buy one of those individually as well if you need to. Um, but yeah, you're gonna need an eight millimeter sleeve anchor and a, and a drill and a mask. Um, concrete is full of um, silica and silica dust is really bad for you so if you're going to be drilling you want to put a mask on um, so yeah I'm going to have one of these on today so um, what we're going to do <clears throat> you'll probably find that your holes if you if, if you can see them you still even want to go get your drill and just make sure you clear the the hole out to about 50 mils what we do is we put a little line you can't see this but I've got a little bit of line little line sort of 50 mils in on my drill and I'm just going to drill to that depth and um, just make sure it's all clear because these things only go in once if you poke it in. Um, so that's the other thing, don't just poke it in and check it, right? You actually wanna make sure the hole's clear because if you get it in, you probably won't get it back out again without some significant effort. Um, so first bit you wanna do is um, yeah, clear the hole. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And there actually is a hole there, but it's covered, covered over. And you don't wanna just go at it. You want to just treat it gently because you don't want to blow out stuff. But you just get the drill in there and you turn it over. And you can see how that went in real easy. It was just sort of filled in at the top. But I'm going to make sure it's 50 mils deep, which it is. I think that one had a spider in it. He's, he's not happy. So there you go. It's it's all done. But that's why we went away from this because it's it's just complicated. So we that's not we don't do that anymore. All right. So that's that done. So now you're literally going to get your swing frame bracket. Now these ones are different to the holes that we used to have, and so what you're going to find is that the middle hole doesn't line up. So you're really just gonna go for the bottom hole and the top hole. And you're just gonna skip the middle hole. Or if you really want to, you could drill out another hole because this, this middle hole doesn't line up anymore. But um, to be honest, I would avoid that because you run the risk of actually breaking out the front of your fire. So just aim for putting one of these in the, in the middle hole, in the top hole, and one in the um, bottom hole. What you're going to do is you're going to tighten that up and you can see it gets finger tight and then you can get a, a spanner or crescent on there and then just, just to tighten that up and that's done. And so it's really important to check the depth and to check, you know, check the depth before you put these in because even if you put them in and, and finger tight them, they're pretty hard to get back out later if you get it wrong. If it doesn't go in far enough by hand, you can tap them in, give them a good nudge with a hammer. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit complicated, which is why we went away. But once they're in, they, they really do just hold, um, hold the swing frame. And you can see I haven't got one on the middle 
and the, it's sturdy as so um, don't worry about that middle hole trying to drill that out um, so yeah that's how you put your swing frame on so um, thanks Margaret for asking and uh, for you guys out there that have the older fire um, I hope that's helpful see you next time